He didn't even have much blood on him. See, that's the thing. When Snoop got shot, he bled on the inside. Oh. He didn't. Even, he mm. had on a white T-shirt and some um, ash gray pants, and there was hardly no blood on him. Um, the T-shirt was off, I want to say, but... And then the, the hole, there was a bullet hole right on the top of his nipple, and it was so small, like a dime or something. Um, and that's what I'm saying. That, that right there, I try not to even think about that too much because I can't believe I survived that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. That's the, you see, that's the reason why I always say, Sometimes God put us through things to help other people because people don't listen to nobody who hasn't been through what mm -hmm. they've been through mm -hmm. for the exact reason that you just said a while ago. Because there's so many people, I can, I can empathize. I mean, I can understand. I can feel it through what you say. Mm -hmm. And I use what you say to help somebody else, but they can still look at me like, well, you haven't lost yours. Exactly. You see what I mean? Yeah, so, so I had to walk through his body bag by myself. They wouldn't let nobody else in there. And I had to walk to his body bag by myself. So that's why I said a lot of these things that I've been on this journey, like nothing can move me because I've done the unthinkable. That day, that night, God, that know? morning while his body bag was out there, that's when you went and looked at him? Mm -hmm. Cause you know how but when you watch you, movies, they 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 wait till it goes well, to see, the coroner or whatever, and then you go view the body at that time. But see, this is a small town, so he was already at the funeral home. There was no sense of going to the hospital. You're dead. He was dead right. mm -hmm. when I got there, right? So there, what are we going to the hospital for? Yeah, I mean, to the funeral home yeah. and look at the. He went straight to the funeral home, and so that's where mm -hmm. I pulled up at. At the funeral home and at see the funeral the, home. Okay, I wasn't sure if you saw him like at the where he got shot like th they said okay come the look crime at the body scene first yeah he was on the okay. ground first in she the seen grass him there then, at that time so you already then he, they put the sheet on him for a while but so then, you sat there and you waited there yeah home. i waited until they took him and so i got behind the corner and then they took him inside and i just like i said he didn't even have much blood on him see that's the thing when snoop got shot he bled on the inside oh he didn't even, he mm. had on a white t-shirt and some um, ash gray pants and there was hardly no blood on him um the t-shirt was off i want to say but and then the, the hole, there was a bullet hole right on the top of his nipple. And it was so small, like a dime or something. Um, and that's what I'm saying. That that right there, I try not to even think about that too much because I can't believe I survived that. That's what I'm saying. What I would know. be going through your mind at this time? Because that's a place where you, you think about it. You have to go. You, you, you driving or somebody else driving at this point? Um, I rode with someone because, oh, yeah. that's the thing. When I got ready to get in my car to follow him, my tire was off. What? It came off? So my car was sitting on the rim. The passenger side tire was on a rim. The tire was completely gone. I never felt a bump or anything on my So, window. hold on. So wow. you drove that car like that? To the, it, the, it had to happen in, in the in the transition. Right, transition. She, and never, just, she couldn't just, think about it. And it, we didn't feel it. It took you the That's, whole time. Yeah, we God didn't feel took it. You there, man. So who took you to the um, to the funeral home? His cousin, who truck it was, um, him and a girl he was talking to at the time. They gave me a ride to the funeral home. Mm. Yeah, wow. and so I just remember, you know, just telling Snoop like, "Get up." Yeah. You're not dead. You're playing. Get up. How long did it take you to? come to re realization that this is real about three years how long did you how long did you stay in there with him do you i don't remember you um, see what i'm saying yeah i don't i just know because it was so crazy because i remember his cousin asking him like y'all really gonna let her make her go in there like this by herself and um i took my time you know i did take my time and i left i had a good friend actually the same friend who Stop traffic so Snoop would get his CD to meet. She was she had pulled up. Mm. She asked me where I was. She came straight, and that's who I rode with. You know, from the funeral home to the police station. I mm. left the funeral home, went to the police mm. station. His killer, the guy that was there, he was standing outside at the time. So that outside lets the you, police station, correct? That lets you know they didn't interview him long enough. Somebody's dead, and you standing outside waiting on your ride the morning of. Like this had to be about seven at this time. Wow. Yeah. So what? Okay, so. They didn't arrest him at that, but not that, day. not that day. Not that day. He basically walked away that day. Yeah, he did. Um, based on the um the transcript of the the interview, it was a five minute interview that day. Wow. And yeah, we on Boss Talk One Hundred One. Yeah, we gonna talk.